Hi, welcome to lesson number five. Um, the intro music today was Lost Boy. And before we start, I actually want to show you some books that the same publisher puts out of the books that I've been using for these lessons um, because they are a great resource for other songs that are more um, just for fun and things that are familiar, tunes from the radio or things that you've heard. So I'm going to show you those books and then we'll get started. I own several of these books for my own children and they really enjoy playing out of them. And the thing that I really like about these piano books is they have the level here. Um, so you can match the level that you're playing in to the level of the books. And they are very true to those levels. So you're not gonna end up with a book that's super hard or something that's way too easy. Um, they're very good at keeping them in the right level. And so they have um, Christmas books, they have classic, mus classical music books, um, there's chord time piano, so these are for a little bit higher levels. You start playing chords in the bass here on these second levels and stuff. Um, the one that I just played out of is this fun time piano, and it has a bunch of hits that they have um, done their own. So this is the one that I did called Lost Boy. And they really do a good job. My kids really like playing out of these. And um, yep, just favor and favor. I really like them. Obviously, I'm using all their stuff. <laughs> so um, yes. And I'm glad that they are allowing me to do so. So if I can give them any props, I will do that. Um, today, our lesson, we're going to go ahead and dive in. We're doing a lot more staccato work. So um, the dot is placed above or below, we've done that, okay? Now, you don't wanna confuse staccato with a dotted half note, okay? So that's the only thing that you have to watch for. So this is directly below or directly above, and um, this is going to be off to the side, okay? So they just wanna make sure that you don't get those confused. So it says, circle each staccato note, hint there are 10, and then draw a triangle around each dotted half note. There are 10. So if you just gotta look in this picture here and find the staccatos and circle those and put a triangle around the dotted half notes, okay? So that's it for technique this week. Um, here we are in our, oh, I lied. That was the theory book, sorry. Here we are now in our technique and artistry book. And we're working with those staccatos and legatos again. So we've got bounce, 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 hold. So, and then our, in our bottom hand, in our bass here, we're gonna hold this A. Now, is this a slur or a tie? This is a tie. It's going from A to A. So that's going to be held out and this A does not get played again. It continues to be held. This A, same thing, it's going to continue on to this next measure and just hold it. So I'm playing this A, bounce, 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 hold, and it still holds, it's not gonna play again. We have lots of ties and staccatos and holds, okay? So let's give you an example of this song. My two finger on my left hand is going to be starting with the A and it's just going to play quietly. One finger is on C, three finger on E. So it says moderately fast. So I'll give you an example of kind of fast, okay? One, two, ready, go. Two, three, four. And notice how I'm holding my A and not playing it again. the teacher duet on this one, but something you need to realize before you turn this teacher duet on. Um, I I did it in kind of a like techno-y, scary type of a sound, um, just because this is a minor sounding song, I thought it'd be fun. So it's a little loud, um, so you might want to turn your volume down, volume down just a little bit on your computer and play with it, okay? All right, here we go. One, two, ready, go.
okay. <laughs> So random fact about your piano teacher, um, I actually really love scary sounding music. Um, I just have a soft spot for it. I don't know why. So um, I like I like spooky songs <laughs> and I'm glad we have some. Um, all right, like you needed to know that. But we're gonna go ahead with this Haunted Mouse and it's kind of the same as like your theory book that we did, right? Um, it's, we've got holds here down at the bottom Dun, 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 dun. And it just continues on a little bit more than what we just did. So, um, hold, staccatos, okay. You're gonna grow louder at the bottom, at the end. And then down here at the very bottom, you'll notice these notes. Play the lowest key on the piano, softly. Staccato, staccato, staccato. Okay, and watch for the slurs and the ties, okay? So let's give you an example of this one. So random fact about your piano teacher. Um, I actually really love scary sounding music. Um, I just have a soft spot for it. I don't know why. So um, I, like, I like spooky songs <laughs> and I'm glad we have some. Um, all right, like you needed to know that. But we're gonna go ahead with this Haunted Mouse and it's kind of the same as like your theory book that we did, right? Um, it's, we've got holds here down at the bottom. Dun, 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 dun. And it just continues on a little bit more than what we just did. So, um, hold, staccatos, okay. You're gonna grow louder at the bottom, at the end. And then down here at the very bottom, you'll notice these notes. Play the lowest key on the piano, softly. Staccato, 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 okay. And watch for the slurs and the ties, okay? So let's give you an example of this one. And I forgot to mention that this is our lesson book, page 15. So uh, sorry about that. You're probably wondering where are we? So lesson book, page 15. I'm gonna give you the example of this song and then we'll continue on. One, two, ready, go. not too bad. In our lesson book, we have one more song that we're going to talk about. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Classic dance on page 16. Okay, so here we have our broken chords again, like we did last week, I believe. So we have C, E, G, C, E, G, staccato, 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 hold. Okay, then we've got some legato here. Okay, growing louder. Slowing down and getting softer at the end. So this one has a teacher duet. I'll give you the example first and just regular. Um, if you'll notice the top line, we are going to repeat that. And it's mezzo forte the first time and piano the second time. So here we go. Three, four timing. So I'll count off one, two, three. One, two, three. One. Staccato, 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 hold. Now again, soft. Legato. Two, three, two. Growing louder. That's so forte. Okay, teacher duet, here we go. Should count off three, I hope it does. One, two, three. So 
soft, growing louder. Okay. And then lastly, we have one song in our performance book. This is a fun one called Jack and the Beanstalk. Okay, we have a lot of steps. Do, 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 skip, step, 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 skip, step, step, step. Okay, now it does a lot of the same things going higher and higher because what did Jack do? He climbed the beanstalk, right? So here I'm gonna move both hands an octave higher, play an octave higher until I get to here. Then I'm gonna go two octaves higher with my hands and play till I get to here. Now this bottom part is what I need to really show you. Um, looks a little weird, right? So with the palms of your hands, play groups of white keys moving down the keyboard, teacher demonstrate. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my right and then I'm just gonna plunk my left and we're just going down the keyboard and then you hit the lowest C. Bum, 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 like he fell down and bonked his head. Down, 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 bonk. Okay, so here comes this example. We're in 4 4 timing. Um, and there's staccato, so just watch for those. All right, one, two, ready, go. Rest. Now both hands move an octave higher. Rest. And I'm still an octave higher in that same spot. Some staccatos. Again, staccato. again to a higher octave. You can't even see my hands, but they're up there. Good luck practicing. Um, got a lot of work, a lot to work on. So do your best, and hopefully it goes well. Let me know if you have any questions.